everybody. Welcome to today's segment of Loomer Unleashed. I'm Laura Loomer, and today we're going to talk about Florida's resign to run law and how Governor Ron DeSantis is trying to abuse his authority as governor of Florida to urge the Republican legislature to change the law so that he can keep his job as governor and also run against Donald Trump in the GOP primary for the 2024 presidential election. Some of you, depending on where you live, may not have ever heard of the resign to run law. Essentially, the resign to run law is a Florida statute that says any officer who qualifies for federal public office must resign from the office he or she presently holds if the terms or any part thereof run currently with each other. We just finished the 2022 midterm election season in which Governor Ron DeSantis successfully won re-election for a second term as Florida's governor. Well, the terms for governor in the state of Florida are four years. That means that Ron DeSantis was recently inaugurated for his second term in January of 2023, meaning that his term is going to carry out until 2027. Well, the presidential election year is 2024, with the election taking place in November, which means that the president of the United States would be inaugurated in January of 2025. Of course, this coincides with Governor Ron DeSantis's term as governor. This is problematic because, one, it's clear that he deceived Florida voters into thinking that he truly wanted to serve a second term. And two, how is the governor supposed to carry out his duties as governor of Florida if, by a chance, Ron DeSantis somehow becomes the GOP nominee and makes it to the White House? Well, that's the dilemma. And that's the reason why the resign to run law was created. It was created so that politicians cannot have their cake and eat it too. So that if you are an elected official, you have to resign from the elected office that you currently hold so that you could run for higher office. However, Ron DeSantis thinks that he is above the law, which is strange given that Ron DeSantis himself has uh, presented himself as a law and order candidate. When you think of Governor Ron DeSantis and the fact that he's trying to pressure the Florida Republican legislature to change Florida law only to benefit himself and his political aspirations, the first thing that comes to my mind is corruption. Self-serving political corruption. This is the type of thing that you would expect from third world leaders, dictators, or authoritarian individuals who abuse the political system to further enrich themselves and carry out their dictatorships. Well, that's exactly what Ron DeSantis is trying to do. He's acting like an absolute tyrant so that he can control the election system in the state of Florida. There's a common phrase in politics, how goes Florida goes the nation, right? So Ron DeSantis is thinking that, oh, as governor of Florida, if I win the state of Florida, I'm going to be the next president of the United States. Well, it just so happens that President Donald Trump himself is a Floridian as well. This is why I recently decided to draft a recommended resolution that I brought to the Republican Party of Florida quarterly meeting. And I presented my recommended resolution to all of the RECs that I encountered. That stands for Republican Executive Committees. Because in the state of Florida, Republican Executive Committees can actually pass their own resolutions encouraging policy. Given the fact that the Florida legislative session begins on March 7th in Tallahassee, one of the hot button issues is going to be whether or not these legislatures change, resign to run to accommodate Governor Ron DeSantis. Personally, I don't think that he should have run for re-election as governor if he wanted to run for president, right? Many people all around the country Trump supporters included, donated to Ron DeSantis thinking that he was intending to serve another four years as governor, when in reality, he is now going to turn around and use those campaign funds to file a race against Donald Trump. Some people are saying, well, this sounds really conspiratorial. Ron DeSantis hasn't even filed to run yet. Well, yes, because he needs the legislature to change the resign to run law unless he wants to resign right now. Because if he were to file for president today, he would literally have to resign his seat as governor. But if he waits until the legislative session ends and the legislature changes resign to run, then he gets to have his cake and eat it too. And he can remain being governor while also running against President Donald Trump. 
the worst kept secret in the state of Florida is the fact that Ron DeSantis is indeed running for president. He is going to challenge Donald Trump, who he owes his entire political career to. And you can expect Ron DeSantis to file at the end of May when the legislative session ends. And if it's not at the end of May, then it will definitely be the beginning of June because it couldn't be any more obvious that Ron DeSantis is running for president. In other words, anybody who supports changing resign to run is in favor of Donald Trump not being the GOP nominee. And so if you support President Donald Trump like I do, and you would like to see President Donald Trump win re-election for a third time and become the president of the United States in 2024, then you need to contact the Florida legislature, especially the Republicans, and tell them to not support changing resign to run. Thank you so much for watching this segment of Loomer Unleashed. I'm Laura Loomer, and if you enjoyed this content, please be sure you subscribe to my Substack, lauraloomer.substack.com. It's free to subscribe, but if you want to support my independent journalism, you can subscribe for $7 a month or $70 a year. Also, please be sure that you're following me on Twitter, Gab, Getter, and Truth Social at Laura Loomer. You never know where I'm going to be and who might be Loomered next.